What's up guys, back for another video here today and today we're going to be doing the new look Raptors rebuild because obviously everybody knows Kawhi went to the Clippers. I made a video of that. I would say I'll put it down in the description for you guys to go check it out and it should be at the end of the video probably but if it's not go look at it for my channel but anyway uh, this team by looking at it it hurts to lose Kawhi because every time I do a rebuild with Kawhi on the Clippers this team doesn't get too far so you can tell that Kawhi is obviously the big piece in this team same in real life so let's obviously make this team obviously spicy P is gonna be the main person in this rebuild he's gonna play small forward and he's gonna be the star we're gonna be going around so let's look at contracts here I'm already eyeing one Kyle Lowry's probably gone um, like this is just, I guess it wasn't like too bad of a deal. Like obviously he's not that good. Ooh, and it, or a player option, ew. Okay, he actually gave him a player option. But anyway, um, like this is one obviously, get his contract out of here. And we'll get, um, if we're going to try to do something this year, I feel like I want to. So let's get uh let's get this guy well team option that's a good deal for the Kings let's say that that's terrible um I guess I'll just get a salary dump for this guy and a second round pick take that thank you and let's look for some more here Jeremy Lynn that's not 13 mil in one year that's not too bad I think that was off of uh what team was that off of. Was it Brooklyn? Was it Brooklyn that gave him that contract? Was it Charlotte? I'm not sure. I think it was Charlotte that traded to Brooklyn. I'm not sure. Um, I, I'm going to keep Fred. His contract is not too bad. Yeah, 8, eight mil and then nine, year, 9 in the next year. That's not too bad. Uh, Baca, I might. Uh, Pau Gasol, I will because he is on the older side. So. All right, I'm going to do this deal here. Bring in a young center to replace the old one. And they, that's a good switch. I like it. I like it. So now we got Drummond on the team to pair with him. I like it. So now Baca, like how old is a Baca? Is he like about to be in his 30s or something? Yeah, he's about to be in his 30s. So obviously make that power forward. Let's get rid of Kyle Lowry. You know what? Actually, let's just bring the whole like piston team to this. <laughs> We're going to bring Blake Griffin to the team. And obviously let's trade that one contract that I just spotted out so yeah uh, Baca's the next one so I'm gonna say uh, let's go shooting guard so do you have a shooting guard on the roster yes we do yeah we're gonna do this deal we're gonna bring Buddy Heald to the team and obviously trade that one contract so Fred Buddy Heald Pascal Blake Griffin and Drummond him off the bench Team don't look too bad. I hope Fred can carry the team. We'll probably pick somebody up in the offseason, I hope. That's a good thing about Pascal. He has a very cheap contract. So does Buddy Heald. So does Fred. But Blake Griffin, obviously, and Drummond are big contracts that I'm going to have to take on. And I hope he doesn't opt into his uh, player option next season. Okay, so... Um, before I start trading for bench pieces, I'm going to send some of these guys to G League. Like him, him, and yeah, that's it. So those two are going to the G League. And I'm going to trade Stanley Johnson and Eric. Okay, Willie Colley Stein, I like, or, you know, I like it. And Tony Allen probably won't even play on this team. So. And now we'll trade, obviously, Tony Allen because he's probably not going to be on this team. And this guy. Okay, we're going to do this deal. This is like just like to get rid of Tony Allen because I just don't want him on the team. Okay, we have a, a bit more power forwards on us. So, yeah, we are going to run a nine-man rotation. Uh, we need some more guards off the bench. So let me trade Williams for, I guess, a shooting guard. Be not too bad, or what about free agency? Was a little like here. 
No, I'm sorry, Tyreek Evans. Uh, Tony Parker? Okay, we'll take it. Actually, let me keep Tony Parker at point guard and we'll put Jeremy Lin at shooting guard. There we go. Bam, look at that. More even, obviously. Just don't have a small for it off the bench. That's okay. So, yeah, this will be year one. We got Fred, Buddy Heald, Pascal, Blake Griffin, Drummond, Tony Parker, Kidd, Willie, Lynn, and obviously Williams is obviously not playing. So, obviously we did trade some picks off. Let's double check what picks we have this year. We do not have our any picks. So, if we turn out to be bad, it's not going to be good for us. I'll see you at awards. Anthony Davis, MVP on the Lakers. John Morant, Rookie of the Year. Six Man. Parker, Giannis defensive, most improved, Jordan Clarkson, and coach of the year is the Jazz. Oh, the Jazz is coach. Okay, I see. But you could see that we went 50 wins on the season, man. I'm very surprised in a way, but we are in the Eastern Conference as a third seed. Brooklyn obviously is in our way of hand. And we're playing the Chicago Bulls. So, Chris Dunn, Zach Levine, Porter. Okay, this team is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's a bad team. But I feel like, in a way, that we're the better team. So we should win this. Let's go. Game one, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. Game four, are we going to sweep them? We do. Okay, it looks like we're probably going to play Brooklyn. Only if the Knicks can somehow beat them. That sucks, but it looks like the Hawks beat Philly. So if I could probably pass these guys, there's a chance I could head to the finals. I'm not sure. So, obviously, Brooklyn, we know. Kyrie. That Tony Allen, a defensive guy there. KD, obviously, it should be injured, but, you know. Allen, Jordan. This team's pretty good. Uh, I think we would lose here. It would be the real thing. But let's see if we can have a little, like, good uh, back and forth. Game one, we win. Game two, they win. Game three, we win. Game four, we win. Can we win in game five? And it looks like we probably won't. Yeah, we won't. We lose by 21. Game six. Let's go. We beat Brooklyn. And goddamn this Hawks team. Getting to the conference finals. They have Trey Young, Kevin Herter. Uh huh. Hmm. They're not like the greatest team. So it looks like the Jazz lost. Uh, you're not. So it's one of those two teams, and let's see if we can beat them. Come on, game one, we win. Game two, they win. Six game three, we win. Game four, we win. Game five. They win game six. Can we win in game six? We beat this Hawk squad. They made a close game. Okay, a minute and 23 seconds left in this game. I'm going to try to jump in and see. Right, here we go. We don't have ball, obviously, because we made a shot. Tie game. Here in game six. Let's hope we can take it. Trick a tray with the ball in his hands. What a block. Spicy P. Ice in his veins. What a block by Drummond, man. That was big. Up by two. Both in the bonus. That wasn't a foul. 
So that was great. Because they were in the bonus, so that means they would have obviously probably made both because it's trigger tray. But here we go 50, 50 seconds left. I would like to bring my best defenders on the court. So we can see if we can get a guaranteed dub here. That's why I brought the man there. Blake Griffin went 26. That's why I wanted to bring him there. Bring him in because off the bench he brings some defense. And obviously that would bring the defenders out was wrong because obviously they couldn't do anything. But we still got some of our offensive players out here like Spicy P. Three. Oh my gosh, bro. It wouldn't even let me pass it, too. We wouldn't only pass it. Hawks get a timeout. They get the ball with the game tied. So I'm not like. I'm not feeling pressured because obviously, if they do make a bucket here, we have plenty of time to get a bucket. Let's just not cause three points. That's all I care about. Okay, uh, I don't get why I never get that. Okay. That's why I always hate and try to play off ball. Sometimes it's better to play on ball. Oh, that was stupid. Come on, go out of bounds. Thank you. I probably could have costed me the game there. But like I said, they would force game seven. So this isn't a losing. Like, losing wouldn't be that bad. And they got freaking. Oh my gosh. Okay. Spicy P is the only one that's getting the ball. Come and give me a nice screen. They foul him. Um, it's probably going to be forced to game six, but if Trigger Trey can miss one of these, it would be very nice of him. Okay. But if nothing happens, I'll see you in game seven. Here we are. Game seven, obviously, that was just a terrible shot for me from Drummond, but. So if we can close it here, they beat Celtics in seven. Whoever wins plays the Lakers and LeBron James. Come on. Let's go. We blow them out. Blake Griffin with pretty much 40 points in the game. That's what I'm talking about. We're in the finals playing LeBron and his squad. Obviously that team is godly. I'll say that for dang sure, bro. Look at that bench. I would not be surprised if we lose this series. Game one. Game two. We win, okay. Game three. We win. Game four. They win. Game five. They win. So this is a must needed win here for us. And we're going to do it. We're going to win by five. Blake Griffin with 29. And whoever wins this game wins the NBA Finals. Who's it going to be? And I'm going to jump in. Here we go. And play the rest of the game. All right, here we are. We're at the Staples Center. And we're going to win... By a big a margin. Let's give it to Blake Griffin. He's been a baller in this series. Spicy P back to... Okay, I don't even know who to give it to. Let's give it to Buddy Heald with 18 points. Green. Let's foul him. I know it really doesn't matter. But... I want to get the ball to finish it off. You can shoot free throws. But yeah... First year, boys. Uh, and also, uh, comment down below if you guys want to see a part two of this and do like another season. I'll let you guys watch the ceremony.
And there we go, we won the champ. And we, and there's Blake Griffin right there, winning it all. What a year, 50 dubs, come in here, round one, beats the Bulls, come and beat, I would say, the super team of the Nets in six games, and then come beat probably our toughest series against an eight-seeded Hawk team. That's the one thing I didn't understand, but obviously one of the games were my fault, so I'm going to let it go, and then have a great series with the Lakers in the finals, and win it all, and in fashion by blowing them out. At, in their home stadium, but you know, um, but yeah, it's the final team here. Um, yeah, I can't believe this team done it. I'm not saying that they couldn't, but with all those trades and just in this first year, we did it. And hey, look, he was an 80, so he played still too. How about the other guy? Did he ever get to play? Yeah, he was a 79. He didn't really get to play at all. But hey, but yeah, if you want to see another season of this, comment that down below and I'll drop it. But, and also down below, I want you guys to make it where, like, or comment down below what you guys would want to see when it comes to rebuilds. Like, let's say we do win in the first year in the 2K version. I'm talking about 2K, not Madden, but in 2K, if we win in the first year, would you want to see those other two years, or would you rather just see when we win? But if you guys can, smash the like button for me, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.